Hey everybody, and welcome back to Potionomics. Uh, we are uh, here on day four. I've just set uh, another uh, sight enhancement potion uh, to brew. We're gonna go ahead and range our potions real quick. Uh, ooh, standard. Oh, so these are the the ones at the front of the shop. Uh, let's go ahead. These have more stars. So is it better to put things with more stars at the front? I gotta imagine that's the case, right? Let's go ahead and, you know what? Let's put one of each and then let's go to sell the two, you know? It's an accurate <laughs> representation of the things we have to sell at the moment. Uh, and uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, open up the shop. This place is shaping up nicely. I can feel the magic coming off of this one. Oh yeah, you totally can. Let me tell you all about it. I can tell you so many things about this, but first, uh, you know, bring it on, bitch. <laughs> Is it safe for turtles? My turtles get into everything. No need to get personal, right? <laughs> I love that <laughs> so much. <laughs> okay, let's plant the seed. Let's go ahead and scheme and get some more uh, stuff here. Let's reel them in. Reel them in some more. Uh, and let's uh, end turn and hope that we get Captivate so that we can keep going. Ooh, lovely. You're a tough nut to crack. Uh, ooh, Captivate! Yes, okay. Uh, then we'll go ahead and let's see. I feel like keep your guard up is gonna be my best option right now. Keep your guard up. And then we'll go ahead and close deal. Oh yeah, give me the money. All right, step right up. Hell yeah, picky artisan. I hope the natural light isn't bad for the potions. I hope this potion is up to my standards. Can you tell me about it? Uh, well, you know, let me tell you all about it. I could tell you so much. Uh, let's also, you know, garner some sympathy real quick. And then, uh, you know, set set you up. Uh, and then let's end turn. <laughs> I'd pay more if it looked nicer. Well, you know what? I can't bear to fleece you. <laughs> I couldn't possibly. Um, all right. And then let's reel them in. Uh... And then let's brace ourselves, because I feel like we're going to start getting these uh, these negative attribute cards coming up here. At this point, I'll, I'd settle for something. They've got one foot out the door. They've got an incredibly wide stance. <laughs> let's go ahead and captivate. Yes, stay right here, sir. Let me sell you on more stuff. Um, let's go ahead and... Keep our guard up. Reel him in. He's highly interested now. Uh, this is probably the best that I'm going to be able to do. Close it out. Hell yeah. All right. And people say I'm hard to please. Thanks for your business. <laughs> That's all of them for now. I don't have many potions at the moment. Okay, let's go ahead get the sight potions that I had brewing. Let's bottle them. Oh boy, we got negative attributes, but we've also got a positive attribute. So you know what? <laughs> it's a mixed bag. <laughs> uh, alrighty. Let's see, what can we do? What can we do? We got red. We got green. Uh, let, let's just go ahead and make a, 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 a normal health potion. Uh, 
Got a lot of stuff for, for green. A lot of green. That's a lot of red. Uh, that's a lot of green. <laughs> could this, could this get me to the next tier of, uh, health potion? No, it could not. Let's take that shit right back out and let's just brew it up the normal way. All right. <sighs> All right. Um, that will go ahead and brew. We've got, uh, these potions that we can set out. Uh, but in the meantime, we can go travel. Let's head, let's head to Muktuk, because I feel like right now the big limitation, other than ingredients, are ingredients? <laughs> and our cauldron. Those are our big limiting factors at the moment. Um, so. Uh, max measurements, 140, max ingredients, seven. Okay. Let's see, not bad. Uh, is, is this an upgrade? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't remember. Uh, mud my mud mire shelf. Uh, how much do? Oh, gotcha. One hundred and twenty gold. Uh, additional three percent for tonics. I feel like I'm mostly gonna make potions though. So let's go ahead and craft you then. I am honored by your decision to make a purchase. Honored and delighted. Hey, don't mention it. I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. So we're both benefiting. From your lips to the ears of the ancestors. However, it must be said that even this fine, fine work you have selected, it could be better. <laughs> Do not mistake me. It is a work of art and I am proud of it. But should you find yourself with surplus ingredients and disposable funds, then I would be able to enhance the item far beyond its current incarnation. You mean like an upgrade? An upgrade, yes! You could call it an upgrade, or a reimagining, or a revolutionary advancement in the corporeal manifestation of the arts. <laughs> upgrade is easier to remember. <laughs> Very well, remember this too. Uh, an upgrade to a cauldron can greatly increase the cauldron's maximum stable ingredients or might even increase the number of ingredients you can place in it. An upgrade to a shelf will increase its surface area and stability, allowing you to place more potions upon it. Consider it, yes? It would bring me great joy to do this for you and to, and to you, it could uh, bring great profit. For a moment, I thought he was like, I could upgrade you. Just, you know, give you a few smacks. Upgrade you. <laughs> uh, you have no cauldrons to upgrade. Well, but I do have, but I don't have the material. I don't have the shrooms for this. Um, but what if I had the uh, cauldron? Uh, okay. Uh. Neither of these will do what I quite wanted to do. Uh, so you know what? Let's go ahead and from here, we'll head over to, uh. We'll head over to Quinn. Yo! Hey, Sylvia! I hear you've been busy. Uh-oh. Uh, what have you heard exactly? Nothing spe especially interesting. Mint just mentioned you've been working it with the Heroes Guild. She's too nice to give me the real gossip. It's a major shortcoming, if I'm honest. I didn't realize you two knew each other. I know all the heroes. After they go on their little adventures, they sell their trash items to me. It's basically my whole business model. Trash comes in, trash goes out. 
Of course, they keep the best stuff for their clients. So I'm guessing you've got something decent in your inventory for once. Maybe something I've never even seen before. Give it here. What? No. Why would I do that? And suit yourself. I'm just trying to keep help trying to help you out. I know how this goes. You get your hands on a good ingredient and you're you're all excited to use it in a potion, right? So you throw it in the cauldron and poof, it's gone forever. But it doesn't have to be that way. What's the alternative? Easy. Hand it over to me instead. My clairvoyance lets me hone in on specific ingredients. Meaning if you give them give me something good, I'll be able to find more of it, and then I can start offering that ingredient for sale in my shop. You miss out on the instant gratification, but you get guaranteed access to the ingredient in the future. Yeah, okay. I can see how that could come in handy. I'll let you know if I decide to take you up on it. There, see? You give me the you give me free stuff, we all benefit. <laughs> Mostly me, but still. I would expect you to operate any other way. But hey, uh, since you're chummy with all the heroes, does this mean I'll be running into you at the guild hall? Nah, despite the invaluable service I provide to the heroes, I'm not exactly welcome in their clubhouse. You set, uh, you set, one, on <laughs> you set one fire and suddenly everybody acts like you're a, r you're a real liability. <laughs> you set two fires and you get banned for life. Consider yourself warned, I guess. Now, did you want to buy something? Yes. In fact, that is why I was here. Yes. Expand. Ooh. See, here's the thing. I could give her this. I can't use it right now. But, like, imagine if I got a bunch of those. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Nah, nah. This is pretty good. Um, you know what? Fuck it. I can't use this right now. Submit. <laughs> cool. Hand it over. <laughs> you ate it? Damn. Okay, Quinn's stock will be updated tomorrow. Wow. That's just gonna be expensive. <laughs> Best ingredients in town. Okay, let's see. Right, the slimes are less expensive today. Let's go to buy 10 of you. Uh, these still don't cost that much, so let's buy 10. And hell, even with the run on fruit, fruit costs right now, that's still like chump change. Okay. Okay. You have a good night. I go back to my home. Goodbye. All right. And how how my brew go? Is it done? <laughs> uh, no, it is not. But it'll be done. By tomorrow morning. Uh, you know what? They, it was saying before, if you end the day early, it will help relieve stress. So let's go ahead and... Uh, oh, wait, no. Let's go ahead and put out our new shelf. Our, our store shelves. You... Hell yeah, look at that. Looking good. I don't have many places to put things, but now I have that out. <laughs> okay, bada bing. Bada boom. Are these, I, I, are these tonics, I guess, then? I guess they're tonics. But when I get a potion, man, that's gonna be nice. Uh, <laughs> All right. We'll go ahead and end the day. Good night. You must have questions about your uncle. How he lived. How he died. Where he hid his valuables. I'm afraid you're out of luck there. 
This shop was all he owned. He put everything he had into it. And not just money, he put his whole heart into this place. If that's true, then why did he go off to explore the island? That's what happened to him, right? He broke the cardinal rule of potion making. He went out delving for his own ingredients. He should have stuck to the counter, counter in the cauldron and left the dangerous work to the professionals. To be fair, I'm pretty certain he'd do things differently if he could. You have to remember, Rafta was basically a ghost town when your uncle arrived here. There were fewer heroes around, which meant fewer resources, so even basic ingredients were costly. He had no choice but to go out and forage from time to time. His mistake was in how far he traveled. He wasn't content to just pluck magic mushrooms in the forest. No, he was too bold for that, too ambitious. In fact, your uncle would not be happy with anything less than an expedition to Maven's Castle, the haunted, crumbling citadel that was once home to the Witch Queen herself. See, that just sounds super dangerous to me. Oh, indeed. Everyone knows Maven's Castle is a dangerous place. It's located at the heart of an irradiated uh, disaster zone full of twisted creatures. But the greater the danger, the greater the loot. So Oswald was hoping to find some kind of edge out there, a way to make his potions stand out. That's right. It was a desperate decision made under great distress, but if you think about it, it was a great, it was a rather daring plan. Your uncle, he blazed a trail into the poisoned heart of this perilous land. Bolstered by potions of his own making, he overcame a series of dangers, fighting, sneaking, and bribing his way to the cursed sanctuary of a tyrannical madwoman. Ah, uh, at least we can assume that's what happened before uh, he, uh, died. Could he still be out there somewhere? Maybe he's alive and waiting to be rescued. Nope, he's dead. Definitely dead. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sure. Sure he is. Owl. Sure he is. Super dead. I guess if Helene's soul binding is foolproof, as you said it is, she would know if he were alive. It's a shame. I was little when he moved here, so I never knew him. Not really. But he remembered every birthday. He bought me my first Easy Make cauldron, actually. I always sort of felt like I was following in his footsteps. Now more than ever, hmm? I mean, here you are. You remind me of him, you know? Yeah, I'm sure the pall of doom hanging over my head makes for a striking, striking resemblance. <laughs> I meant it as a, as a compliment. <laughs> Ooh, I am in the negative for today. I'm in the negative a lot for today. Ooh, fun. <laughs> okay, I need to brew up so many gosh darn potions. Oh, it approaches. <laughs> I don't have enough time. Now that the shop is up and running, you might think you know what to expect. But customers will find new ways to keep you on your toes. You'll probably have some of them ask to place a custom order soon. Oh, like when I would order two dozen donuts in advance or an ice cream cake or both? Girl, how are you so skinny? <laughs> Man, I miss having a disposable income. Focus, would you? Because this would help with your cash flow concerns. Custom orders allow a customer to submit a request for a specific combination of potions. But you have a choice as to whether or not you'll take on the job. Accepting the request gives you an opportunity to sell multiple potions at once, as well as giving you time to gather whatever ingredients you need for the brew. Sounds smart to me. Uh, I'll see what uh, people come up with and go from there. 
Excellent. Now, if only I could stop thinking about donuts. <laughs> Okay, getting their dues. Increase in merchant customers. Okay, cool. Increased value for poison cures. I wish I'd made them. Uh, Mushroom Mire has stronger monsters and better loot. That would be cool if I had enough to send Milady out with that stuff. Um... Increase in customers. Haggle customers will start. We'll start with sympathy. Sympathy debuff. God damn it! In, increased value for basic potions. Not bad. Okay. Uh, we're five days out from the competition, and if you don't have it, now's the time. I strongly recommend brews of at least common quality for three stars or better. Upgrading your equipment and the store will be the key to success. Success. Okay. Um, first of all, let's collect our potions. Hell yeah, perfect brew. Oh, that's, uh, that's a lot. <laughs> okay, um, let's see, we got green, we got red. That'll be some nasty shiz if I put those together. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's see. What what am I going to brew? What am I going to brew? Uh, okay. Um, you want me to make at least common. I don't know if I can. Good sir. <laughs> uh, let's go. It, it, it's gonna be gross, but maybe it'll get us there. Maybe. It's still only a minor. God fuck. Uh, okay. Maybe not. Okay. Um. How am I going to do this? Everything gives me six except for these. And I can't put these back in and like mix them with new shit. That would be great. What's going on? Oh. Did I, did I buy a new cauldron? I don't remember. No, I still just have this clay one that he gave me. Uh, that Muktuk gave me. Um, I got, I gotta brew something. Let's go ahead and start by putting in a bunch of yellow then some green why is it still giving me fucking there we go minor mana potion we'll go ahead and go with it okay let's start by arranging our potions we got two empty slots and we're gonna oh wow that is quite the markup uh yeah we're gonna go ahead and switch that out um not great having these up front but whatever <laughs> um let's go ahead and open up the shop let's sell some potions well met, Sylvia. This potion, you must tell me about it. Do not make me beg. Well, uh, let me go ahead and set you up real quick. That one's a real winner. <laughs> yeah. Then I'm going to go ahead and reel you in. Come closer, my good man. Uh, is it offensive because you are uh, an aquatic animal person? 
to say reel you in. I don't know. I hope my expectations are not too ridiculous. I'm only human. Uh, let's go ahead and captivate him. Yes. Beautiful. All right. And then let's go ahead and set him up. And then let's scheme a little and get some more cards. We're going to go ahead and keep our guard up. Because, like, better to keep your guard up. Let's go ahead and plant some seeds real quick. And then... Oh, yeah, no. Ha ha ha! I forgot. <laughs> yeah, let's close the deal. <laughs> no refunds. There we go. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. I don't think I did very well on that one. Okay, I almost slipped on an owl feather. This one might work for me, but I'm not entirely sold yet. Aha! This really expensive mana potion. Okay, let's go ahead and set them up. And then let's plant that seed. And then we'll end our turn. It's kind of plain. Uh, dude, it's a mana potion. What the fuck you expecting, bro? We're gonna go ahead and, you know, captivate you real quick. And then, uh, you know, get a little sympathy. Hey, man. I'm just, I'm a person just like you. Just trying to make my money. Then I'll go ahead and uh, raise your interest and, you know, set you up a little bit. And then we'll end turn. And then maybe we'll get another Captivate. Who knows? Didn't even get through my shield. What the fuck? What, what's up, yo? Oh, I should, eh, I should set him up first. Then think Sylvia think. Ah, not enough for that. But you know what? Let's go ahead and close it out. Hell yeah! And people say I'm hard to please. You probably are. Friendly merchant. Yes, I ran into a hero who had the nicest things to say about this shop. This one looks nice. What are you looking asking for it? Uh, well, you know, I'm asking for money. Uh, <laughs> I'm so proud of it, but you know what? Let's go ahead and plant that seed real quick. You know, really, really get you thinking about it real quick. Um, I'm not gonna brace yet. Uh, support the local economy. I wish the local economy <laughs> would support me back. Ha! The same, my, my good man. Okay, let's think, think, think. Oh, captivate, even if it does only give me one. Uh, think, think, think. Oh, great, love that. Um, gonna go ahead and get some sympathy going here and then reel them in. And then we'll end turn. Ow, I'm so tense. Uh-oh. We've got one foot out the door. Once again, the the amount of flexibility that, that would require. Um, let's go ahead and sympathy. And then set him up. Let's see. This would get him to max interest, I believe. Yes, max interest. Hell yeah. You're the best. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> all righty. Uh, but yeah, with that, that's all the time we got for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, game's been fun as it has been since the very beginning. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe and... I will see you guys next time. Bye.